So when uh, um, Jamie pointed, we sort of understand why you may have had some difficulty seeing it last night. What would have been a difficulty seeing the Southern Cross um, last night? Well, it was quite low, so it could be hidden the trees Absolutely. Who has a house that looks, um, has a higher vantage, higher up? Hands up. Okay. Can you see south? You obviously identified where south is. You know where, where south is from your house? Yeah? Okay, so that's the, so here we have the one that I put on the Learning Center and Southern Cross all the way down here. Very similar to the positioning that, that you have on that one. So what I'd like you to do is keep that piece of paper, take it out again tonight, maybe tomorrow night. There might be some clouds. You might have a lot of homework and you can't go outside, etc. So over the next week, I'd like you to have another look. And if you look closely, we have Alpha and Beta Centauri. These two quite bright stars that we can use as pointers. And sometimes it's easier to find the two pointers and then look for the Southern Cross. And remember, we need to go through the middle of this one here, but then at a right angle. So this line has to go out. Remember to get that right angle, girls. That's a tricky part. How did you go? Well, there. I, so where is it? Yeah, very good. Now I need you to draw. Is your stylus working? Draw the lines as we described before. Yeah. Almost, we need, you've dropped down before those two are joined together. So have a look at this one, that's correct. Keep going until they both meet and then go down. Does that make sense? Okay. So if you're easily able to find south doing that, and if you find it like that, can't you do that and that's more? Absolutely, of course. And what would you do with east and west? The other way. Oh. Once you have south, you then have north, north, east and west. Make sense? So once you have one, you can get the other three. Yeah. We did it like that and then you have it in the just like that. And then it's got to be south. Ah. And then we, could, we had to do a challenge we had to find a way from the road where they dropped us back. Oh. And so we had to use the stars. That would be interesting. How did you go? Did you find your way back? we did. It was very cold. But you were with your parents? Yeah. Oh, I was with my dad and a couple other friends. Okay. So we were doing, um, and there was also, they also dropped a man. I'm um, one of the instructors who had to follow us and try and keep us on us, so we had to keep moving and um, find our way back to the camp. Again. That sounds like a lot of fun. A little bit nerve wracking, but a lot of fun. Um, you've almost got it, Tihari. Now remember, between these two, we want a straight line, and then we want to go at a right angle. So this line joins with that line and south is directly from that point. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh. That's so confused. We're so confused. This is the second one and yeah. that's the, um, that's the southern, southern Cross. Cross and these are the two pointers but we don't know how to... From, from here, we go, you've got the correct intersection perfectly. You just go straight towards the horizon from the point that you've identified there. So that this, the everything is correct except this. Oh, so it'd be straight down. Straight, so straight down, down, so south is there. Okay. So this is our activity. I would like you, I'm going to divide you up into groups. You're going to make a model of the solar system. And what I would like you to do is make it to scale. 
okay? <laughs> Which means that probably in this lesson we will plan it, we will get our materials ready, but next lesson I will give you opportunity to be outside in the room. We're not going to do the scale so that we have the sun here and earth over on Corinda Station, but you will be able to use some free space, maybe out in the um, foyer, out the, hopefully it won't be raining, or we can go outside. Have usual size. So we're considering two things. How, how big do you want your model to be? So picture you might be in here. Next lesson, we'll do it. We don't have time to do it now. Or you might be out in the auditorium, uh, auditorium foyer. You might be out on the concrete. So think about how, how, you, how big you want it to be. What else would we think about? How we're going to divide up each piece of toilet paper distance-wise, so it's not huge. Because we can't see one toilet paper for like one That's right. And it also needs to relate directly to those numbers of distances. What trend have we got in those numbers? Absolutely. Is that what we expect as we go from the sun out towards the edge of the solar system? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, quite a large number though, and we're going to we're going to need to know how many kilometers for each sheet. 